Here an example of an area that did not fare so well. A complete wasteland. As the Bible says, the buildings shall melt like wax. And this is your wax. Again, we can see all the lime has been pushed to the surface. But this was once building. Levels. Now collapsed into a pile. Like that day in September. And those two buildings in New York. And even in this absolute wasteland, again, always at the top, we do see a little pocket of survival right up here. A square little building looking like some Anasazi ruins in the deserts of Arizona or even Utah and Colorado, as we can see at the Hovenweep National Monument. Just little pockets of preservation sticking up and everything below just melted. And very exciting if I stumbled across this. This is always what I'm looking for. Looks like we do have access in here and we can really imagine the skyline in the background here. And what a crazy world this would have been. So, so, so packed. Frankly, I'm... Glad we don't live in such a busy world, where all the mountains would have been structures. Probably larger people, and who knows if they were even people. Maybe it was some type of hive or insect creature. But when we look at the remains of Petra, as we just were, they seem very sophisticated and actually in the spirit of the Romanesque architecture that would continue clear into the early 1900s until everything would become cheapened. And this makes me feel like they were more of a human-esque entity. Someone who cared about beauty and art. And here a better look at the preservation on top. And a lot of the bombing of the Nevada deserts, even the bombing of Mount Vesuvius, I believe was to get rid of any remains, any little prevailing traces of advanced civilization. Here again, that same survival from the backside. And no doubt, once you see it, you can't unsee it. 